Welcome to Grading 101, Introduction to Grading, brought to you by PCGS. In today's webinar, we'll take a look at luster and see what impact luster has on the final grade of a mint state coin. And as you can see on our diagram, luster is the third component of the four components of mint state coin grading. So what is luster? Luster is the reflectivity of a given coin caused by the manner in which light reflects off the surface of the coin. Coins are struck under high pressure and this causes the metal to flow into the recesses of the die from the center causing very small stress lines on the surface of the coin. These lines are shallow and account for the cartwheel effect that's seen on most coins, especially easiest to see on larger coins. These are the two triangular shaped areas of light looking somewhat like an hourglass that moves as you rotate the coin under the light. Uh, poor striking pressure, over polishing of the dies, underweight planchets, and repeated dipping will, will cause a flat or lifeless luster to appear on a coin. Uh, because luster involves the reflection of light, it can sometimes be difficult to illustrate in photographs. However, we'll still take a look and see what we can um, determine about luster. We'll start with two walkers. Both are uncirculated. The coin on the left, as you can see, is, is very flat and dull. Uh, even though it's lightly toned, there's almost no reflection of light coming off the surface. So there, it's, it's almost a matte looking surface. In contrast, the coin on the right, you can see, has uh, deep, swirling, vibrant luster. Uh, and that's easiest to see in the uh, light and dark areas uh, of the coin. These would uh, certainly change as you rotated the coin under the light. You would see other areas would get very light and other areas would get very dark. This is characteristic of a deep frosty luster. So what's in between these two? Let's take a look at them again at both extremes and see what comes in between. Here are five walkers. We'll start with the coin with little or no luster. Uh, you see the surfaces are flat completely dull looking. There's some uh, toning on the coin, but once again, it, it just doesn't seem to reflect much light. Uh, this, this would be a, a, a pretty undesirable coin from the standpoint of um, most uh, collectors or buyers. Next up the line, uh, we have what we would call flat, dull, or somewhat subdued luster. This coin has a little bit of luster, but it's still rather lifeless. Again, dull, just, just not the kind of coin that most people would want in their collections, especially since better ones are out there. In the middle, we have a coin with just average luster. Uh, it's evident, though not particularly bright or vibrant. You're starting to see a few of the light and dark areas of the coin, characteristic of frosty luster, but they're, they're just not really well defined or, or, or pronounced. Um, so this is, um, you know, this is a coin that you just sort of shrug your shoulders when you're considering the luster on it. Doesn't really hurt it, doesn't really help it. Next we'll take a look at a coin with good luster. Uh, the luster is bright and attractive. You sometimes hear these coins referred to as frosty. Uh, again, you see the light and dark patterns starting to really show up on this coin. And uh, this is the kind of luster that's starting to help the grade of a coin somewhat. And finally, we'll go to a coin with what we think is outstanding luster. Again, now you see the light and dark spots on the coin very, very uh, evident. And once again, if you were to swirl this coin under the light, you would see the uh, light and dark areas uh, change very, very quickly under that light. It's a cartwheel type look. Uh, the coin appears to almost glow. So how does luster affect the grade of a coin? Let's take a look. In general, luster will have the following impact on the grade of a coin. Little or no luster. Uh, this will limit the grade of a coin to no higher than mint state 63, and most will grade in the 60 to 62 range, regardless of other factors such as surface preservation, strike, or eye appeal. A coin with flat or dull luster can really grade no higher than mint state 64, with most falling in the mint state 61 to 63 range. Average luster can grade no higher than 65, and again, most coins here will be limited from 62 to 64, depending on other factors. Good luster, of course, can grade up to mint state 69, and may occasionally boost a coin's grade if it's on the borderline between two grades. And finally, a coin with really outstanding luster obviously has no upper limit, and can certainly add a point to the grade in some cases. 
Note some coins such as Morgan dollars will sometimes exhibit proof-like surfaces and for these you really have to look at luster in a different way since there's no cartwheel or frost effect on these. We'll look at them in grading 102. We hope you've enjoyed our quick look at luster and stay tuned for the next installment of grading 101.